Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the 2v2 anniversary tournament. We are going to be into the lower bracket finals. After quite a few harrowing matches along the lower bracket, we are down to two teams, well, three teams. Two of whom will be fighting right away is going to be Gregory Buzzy Beetle against Northland G and RAR. Fighting it out for who is going to be the absolute victor in this match. And that is... That is something we've obviously got to deal with here. So... We are going to be into... Into... Or... Altier Crossing. A map which... Yeah, not one I'd really expect to see, but... There we go. That's, that's what we're playing. Altier Crossing. Very, very tiny map. Very tree-filled map, but... Generally speaking, people will either win or lose before Reclaim even matters. We are seeing that North Shalangi and RAR starting out as best they can close together, going for what looks like a rush going to the chat. While, on the other hand, we have Gregory Buzzy Beetle split up a little bit, going Cloaky and Spider, but much more focused on trying to get into the, well, mid-game. I mean, this map, you don't have a late game, but you do have a mid-game, so trying to play for that, that makes some sense. I do kind of like the way that Gregory Buzzy Beetle is playing this through, because North Chilean G and Ra are going to be relying entirely on setting up this good rush. You have rogues coming up. I don't see anything coming up for the spiders, other than some scouting. Not really sure what the plan is there. But at the same time, it might be... Might be just like Outlaw Rogue with Commander. Just push Outlaw Rogue with Commander. Same time that we do see North Shalangi, it's time to go expand. So with that, I, I'm not really sure where Gregory Buzzy Beetle is going to be having a problem here. Like, there's possibly a rush coming from North Shalangi and RAR, but RAR themselves... I mean, they're hanging out in their base, they're getting their stuff set up, which is all well and good. Have the Rogues up. Once they get all four Rogues, I expect we're going to start seeing an Assault. We have Venoms as well. So yeah, Venom, Rogue, Outlaw, not a bad setup. Countering that is basically nothing, actually. There's a Stinger up, there's some Venoms, some Recluses. A bit of a push coming in here, too, from Hokomoko. Yeah, from Hokomoko. But that's about it. So, considering that, I'd say we're probably going to be seeing a push very shortly. There's the Commander upgrade. Once it gets to level 2, that should be the push. North Chilean G's Commander is also in a reasonably good position, but I kind of expect this isn't going to work out. We saw... If you saw in the chat, there was some stuff in the chat mentioned about how the how RAR wanted North Shalangi to push with them. I kind of don't see that happening. North Shalangi looks like they're just trying to make sure that nothing can really hit them from behind. I mean, the Venoms are coming in here. There's, it's kind of hard to see with green Venoms versus yellow Venoms. But yes, these are opposing Venoms. So they're not on the same side. And that's fine. I mean, the only thing is that needs to be got, needs to get through the Stinger. And that's going to be rather difficult to do. And the Lotus... Sorry, the Stinger. The Flea is coming in here to try to help with that, but... Probably won't be able to come in and actually do much damage. If it distracts the Stinger long enough, though, they could allow for the rest of this force to come in and actually take the Stinger out, but that is tricky. That'd be extremely difficult to time out properly. I don't think that would happen. And on the other hand, it might be fine. Gregory Buzzy Beetle has a much better economy position. They have... I think they don't have anything building up any further economy, but they do have enough already to make their economy work as is. Ooh, and they have the commander lock. And it's not going to be a kill, but they still have the lock. But yeah, Gregory Buzzy Beetle has massively e-stalled compared to, NC compared to RAR. NCG, RAR, they're in a very safe position energy-wise. So all it have to do, really, is just hold on to this, keep going with the economy, and then they can continue on from there. Right now, Hokomoko is... I mean, their commander's in a little bit of a tight spot. Has managed to be saved by their own units. And wow, what the heck? What are you doing, North Chilean G? That is suicide. This you just you're just fighting against Venom's doing or you're fighting with Venom's doing the exact thing. But I guess it's okay. I guess it works out alright. We have an odd choice of strategy there, but either way it does work, and the shield ball is able to come in to help apply even further pressure. Help securing that, econ that economic lead. But of course, sooner or later, Gregory Buzzy Beetle will be able to set up their own energy economy, and they certainly have. 
So that's the kind of thing, is that Gregory Buzzy Beetle was still was kind of e-stalling, lose, like, losing a lot of metal, but may not matter at this point. Still, though, it's not like there have been there's any of the metal lost by North Australian G and RAR, and considering RAR has been upgrading their commander this entire time, that has been relatively efficient. I mean, you have the commanders, you have the factories, nothing's really being lost. And at the same time, nothing's being slowed down. I mean, granted, you could have a caretaker in the factory, but still, nothing's being slowed down by the commander upgrades. Everything else is still being built up. Gregory Buzzy Beetle is no further ahead in terms of actual production value. So, yeah, North Chilean G and RAR are doing really well. Unfortunately, losing the Venoms wasn't great, but still, they're doing fine as far as the overall economy goes. And even with Reclaim, they're doing pretty well. Do kind of wish they would get a Caretaker, though. They're not going to build both Care the Shield Bot and Spider Bot. Get a Caretaker, burn the rest of that storage. I realize, you know, RAR is upgrading their commander quite a bit, but just get the storage. Not get storage. Get, get Shield Bots or something, or use the storage, I'm going to say. Use the storage. Get caretakers, build up shield bots, upgrade the commander, obviously, that helps too. But it it's still not enough, really. There's a lot of like seriously. Just, yeah. All this stuff in storage. Now granted, Gregory Buzzy Beetle really needs to use their metal because they've been excessing this entire time. Basically haven't produced all that much. But it may not even matter. Dime Frame and Hokomoko are still pushing putting a lot of pressure. Still have really good choices of units, while Rar's commander is kinda stuck, and of course. They're going up against RAR, so they got phantoms, because they know, hey, RAR loves using their commander. Always uses their commander. That's RAR's thing. So get phantoms out and use those. And the phantom, I mean, it doesn't fire at will, so it might kind of get revealed to an extent. But it doesn't matter. It's not cloak. There's nothing that's setting it on fire or doing anything else that would actually reveal his position. So I don't really see the logic. At the same time, though, it's not like it's the only thing going on. I mean, you see it over to the north of Fleezer helping slow down a bit of progress over to the north and open things up a little bit so some of these wor workers can reclaim, build up over the top. But RAR has lost their entire force, so the building and reclaiming at the top is only going to be as useful as it allows for this army to be replenished. Now granted, RAR is doing a re pretty decent job of actually dealing with this stuff. I mean, the other rockets coming in, they have managed to get to the Phantom, actually. So that's good. That's exactly what they need, but unfortunately not managing to do a whole lot of damage off that. So, I don't really see what else is going to be going in their favor other than maybe, maybe getting rid of what they've, what they found so far, and then just pushing that further, applying more pressure. I mean, they're still ahead economically. Production's okay, but I don't know, Gregory Buzzy Beetle has gotten their caretakers up. And while the while North Chinese commander is helping out with the factory, they aren't building caretakers. I think... North Australian G and RAR figured the game would be over by now, and it just isn't. And they're not quite sure how to end it. I don't think they know what's going on, honestly. Like, in terms of map knowledge, what do they even have? Not much radar, not much of vision. There's entirely in the dark. And that's the thing, Gregory Buzzy Beetle has perfect information about what's going on, while North Australian G and RAR know nothing. And this is pretty much going to be deciding the game, as it is. Like this, this is all force in the north. Nothing really came to stop it. Nothing really came to contest it. Rar tried to go for the aggression, then got stopped by the stinger, and that basically calls it, as it is. I mean, trying to get the venom in to do some damage, but ultimately, it's just their strategy didn't work. Strategy really didn't work. But, hey, it was a neat idea. I mean, Altair Crossing, not a bad choice. And Rar's commander is still alive. It's not like they've lost the commander. They can still push with it. I just don't think they will. And, yeah, they're already working out. There's too many snipers to do it. Which is actually kind of funny. There's only two. But that is a lot. When I mean, you don't know how many there are, and they're all cloaked, yeah, that's a fair point. Like, you, as far as, there, as, far as North Strange and Rar are concerned, there are too many snipers. And it's not like the shields are going to do much against that either. Snipers deal enough damage to penetrate shields. Like, 1,500 damage. So unless your shield is more than 1,500 energy on it at a time, it will not work. It will not protect you. The shot will go straight through. So, there's not much else for it. I mean, Rar tried. Rar put the commander in. Rar did not rush with the commander. They needed to have won five minutes ago. 
And that's what the commander rush would have been for. But it looks like there is at least one last attempt. The assault force that came in, Glowbat assault force, has been forced to retreat. So it may not be all over yet. I just don't have much confidence, honestly, in its ability to continue in this fight. So yeah, that commander, not sure what it's going to do, though. I, again, that commander, like, what can it even do? The problem is they can get surrounded on all sides. And Rar is not being aggressive with it. If Rar is being hyper-aggressive with it, if they're pushing in and trying to do a bunch of damage and get away from the snipers are and just generally attack, like, go to the north, do it. Actually, what they're doing right now is good. What they're doing right now is perfect. That's ideal. All right. And on top of that, the recluses were already in place, so North Chilean G kind of opening things up as far as seeing what's going on and noticing the snipers aren't there. It's actually really clever. Unfortunately, North Chilean G's commander, they're two sniper shots away from death, and there are two snipers right there, one of which is just about to finish reloading. Oh, what's going in? Don't be daring! Oh, that's a dead commander. Yep, that's a dead commander. Poo boy. Well, Rar still has a commander. At least there's that. I mean, it's going to be a bit tricky to make this work, but there's not a whole lot of resistance, so maybe it's not that tricky at all, all things considered. Might actually be fine. Of course, Rar's commander is still having a bit of a tough time, but, you know, it's, it's worth it. Could, it could work. Might work, maybe. I don't know. At the same time, the entire base is being torn to pieces, but Rar's commander is, like, level 7. They've got a bunch of stuff. Missile launcher, personal shields, lots of range boosters, lots of speed boosters. Not a lot's actually able to destroy it. And the shield's been knocked down, but until the snipers get close, it's pretty much unthreatened. And even then, it'll take four sniper shots to kill it. Or five sniper shots, actually. So, right now, I don't know. It's kind of to say. The terraform is up for the factory, too, which makes sense for the spider factory. Terraform it. Let the spiders come out. Let nothing else in. I like it. Makes sense. Oh, and one of the phantoms has been... Both the phantoms have been spotted. This is really amazing. Now, North Chilean G and Rar are able to completely wipe out the entire threat to Rar's commander. So Rar can keep pushing. More phantoms will possibly be produced, but none of them are on the dock, so there's actually nothing really stopping it. This is actually amazing. That was the best situation possible for Rar. There's no phantoms left. I don't know if they're aware there are no phantoms left, but there aren't. Their commander is basically safe. You can do whatever the heck it wants. Oh, okay. Almost whatever the heck it wants. That, that was really nice Venom, but Outlaw Rogue is there to help save the day once the commander gets threatened by a Widow. Not Venom, Widow. Good Widow, though. Really good Widow. I like that. Probably not going to do the trick, though. But it may not even matter. The problem, of course, is at the same time, what is stopping anything else from coming in, right? Besides this Outlaw... Whoa! Okay, besides the Burrowed Outlaw, which has not been spotted, and completely wipes out all the fleas, wipes out the commander without ever even being noticed. Now, at the same time, Rar's commander is under heavy fire, and if that commander goes down, it is over. It is done. It is game. That commander needs to heal up, and it's not going to take too long. 55 healing per second. Shouldn't take too long to regenerate all of its HP, but it's got to be careful in the meantime. That is still the key to victory, no matter what. What the heck? Oh, yeah, the commander blew up. Yeah, right. But no, that Rar's commander is still the key to victory. If that goes down, it won't. There's no way of getting back in, but it's not going to go down at this point. There's nothing really stopping it. Another widow might, but that first widow died. Second widow is not being produced. Or no, there it is. There's the second widow. So the second widow is up, but the amount of damage that's been dealt might not even matter. Gregory Budsy Beetle losing one of their factories, or very soon to be losing one of their factories. Get that factory down. The Cloaky Bot factory is down. The widow has been deployed again so the commander was able to at least get a little bit out of position or get a little bit into the ground out of threat range okay nice nice what's i'm not sure what's terraforming it but whatever it is is doing an extremely good job here. oh wait what who is oh oh okay well yeah whoever was terraforming that doesn't matter because you're right next to caretakers that is not that terraform is not gonna last long <laughs> commander however gets back online and with that Another Widow threat has been averted. Should be yet more Widows coming up, I would imagine, but no, we aren't seeing any being built. And Gregory Buzzard Beetle has the resources for it, for now, but they're very rapidly losing them. And at the same time, this entire time, Rar, North Slane G have been building up and have been getting great attrition, largely thanks to the Commander. 
And that commander is just, it's working out. It's, that, again, that's RAR's entire game plan is build their commander up and push. And it's pretty clear that that game plan normally doesn't work very well. But hey, you bypass the Stinger, go along the north side, take out one player's entire production base. And that works. We have enough of a support army that a single Widow can't win either. There you go. But that really, that, that was scary. That first Widow nearly killing off the commander, that could have been, that could have been game right there. That would have been huge, but no further widows are being built, and we do have recklessness being built up, but the shield regeneration on top of the HP in general is just high enough that I don't think it's going to be a major threat. At this point, basically the commander can just push in, and RAR is not being reckless with this. Again, North Shalangi and RAR basically only have that commander to work with. There is some rebuilding going on, trying to get a bit of a more robust economy just in case the commander happens to die. And especially as the commander is taking a lot of damage, the army in particular is taking a lot of damage. Another widow is being built, and this time the commander won't survive it. The commander does need to retreat until further forces can come in for for support, because otherwise it's not going to work. But at the same time, bandits over to the north to break even more of the economy, put Gregory Buzzy Beetle in even a, a harder position. But yeah, that Widow. That Widow is the key problem. There's not enough units protecting the commander for that Widow to be able to do what it wants to do. Well, at least wasn't. Now there kind of is. It's a little bit tricky to say. But I'd say the commander did his job. Like, it wiped out a production site. It's wiping out another major expansion. It's doing it with perfect attrition and doesn't just doesn't have to go into the main base. But as long as this economy can be wiped out and equalized, and Gregory Buzzy Beetle, I mean, they've been reclaiming, a, they're not reclaiming, they've been accessing a ton. Like, look at metal used between the two teams a little bit more recently, but not much otherwise. But yeah, it's sort of there and huge. But at the same time, Ari value is in the favor of North Chilean Gene Rar. So when you look at that, it's pretty easy to see that it's going to be very likely in favor of North Chilean Gene Rar. They've gradually taken apart the army. The army value is better. And that thing is, commander is not army value. Commander is other value. Army value is actual, is units that are just built up. And there was a lot of it for Gregory Buzzy Beetle for a long time, but it's been torn apart. The economy's kind of been falling apart. There's not a whole lot left built up. Time for having their own commander being not nailed by a widow. So another really tight spot for them. And on top of that, it's just gradual build up, gradual def good defense. The commander's been able to hold off any possible threats coming in. And while there is still the one possibility of this squatted up force here from Gregory Buzzy Beetle. Possibly finishing the job. I don't think it's gonna work. It, it looks like North Shalangi and Rar, they're still in a tight spot. They still are behind economically. They're doing an okay, they're doing a fine job. But there's only so much more they can do. And, oh, ooh, opened up the side. Venoms could come in. The Rexes have nothing else to defend them. The Venoms could easily come in and start tearing everything apart. The, or the Widow, rather, could tear everything apart. The Widow, again, getting off its, getting off its shot. Tearing apart everything else. There is only a six second paralyzed time though. Not 30 as usually was. Probably because not as much damage was dealt beforehand. But I think this is going to be it. The Rexus is coming in here. They have no fear whatsoever. They should be able to take care of the commander. And not much else is on the map to actually deal with this. The commander does go down. RAR loses their commander. That is, it did not dig when they could have dug. I think that's going to be game. I think Gregory Buzzy Beetle will manage to take this. Very strong play coming in from North Shalangi and Rar, but that's that's not enough. The Reckless is coming in, finish the job, and really the only possible push would be like maybe a push back with these Hermits. Maybe getting through with that, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like this rebuild has still worked out really well for Gregory Buzzy Beetle. North Shalangi and Rar weren't able to get a very strong economy, despite the fact that they were pushing very hard. They were pushing as hard as they were with the commander. That's kind of all there is to it now. With that, I think North Chilean G is they're gonna hold on the best they can. North Chilean G and Rar, they'll certainly try, but there's only so far they can go. And I agree with the, the chat in the game that really the thing with Rar is that they had a lot, they had support units for the commander, and stopped having support units after a while. Like they, thugs and outlaws and rogues. Or rogues, outlaws, some thugs, some bandits. And then the support units got killed and they never reinforced. And I think if there had been reinforcements for the commander, the commander would have lived. 
but it didn't happen. So, yeah. And then the Reckless got in and managed to get the kill. Now, at this point, there's still a lot of army. There's still, like I said, an army advantage for for the Western team. Or there was an army advantage, but it's kind of gone down. Again, there isn't this massive attrition force to work with like you had with the commander before. So you can't really just say, oh, yeah, it's going to work fine. You got the attrition. No, you don't. You don't have the attrition at all. That's kind of the problem. Now, without that attrition, it becomes very difficult to actually set up the proper economy or proper military in order to continue pushing and continue up with that pressure, whereas all this military coming in here from Gregory Buzzy Beetle is pretty much uncontested, and that should be able to wipe out the rest of the economy that North Carolina GNR had built up in the meantime. Looks like it's, it might be one last push coming in from North Carolina GNR, but other than that, there's not much. Like, one last push is really all there is. But, I mean, they're going to try. No one really quite has enough resources to get any game enders, any striders, or anything. I suppose we could see Gregory Buzzy Beetle going for a strider hub or missile silo, but they are going for the light, the rover assembly for some fencers just to continue with the skirmisher push. That might work, although at the same time, the fleas have been built up to try to deal with this stuff, so... I don't know. The reckless, Recluses are having a difficult time as it is getting in. Overall, it seems like Gregory Buzzy Beetle is just having a really hard time pushing it. And that's, that's the thing, is that because of the problem with pushing, it might still push back. I mean, the Hermit's coming in, the Redback's coming in on top of that, the Commander's trying to do something about it, but it's not really working. The Hermit should be able to tear apart the Stinger. And there it is, Dirtbag just going in to help finish the job, providing a little bit of extra damage, and it's not quite enough. That Stinger actually does survive. Helps that there's another Stinger behind it, for sure. I think that's going to be it. The north side got destroyed in the meantime. The south side was destroyed. That is... And North Slane G realizing there's not a whole lot they can do from here. So yeah, that is going to be it. That is going to be game. So, North Slane G going with the resign. Ra going with the resign. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, the armor value just doesn't pan out. And yes, it is definitely other value. Like, this is other value. It's a 5,000 metal drop. Army value is not the sum of it. This was like a thousand metal a drop. It's totally separate. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. People in stream chat pointing out how it's kind of weird that the commander value is not counted as army value. And it's like, well, commanders aren't just army. They're also construction. But I kind of see that logic because if you're using the commander up front like this, it does matter. But if you're not using it up front, then it doesn't. So I don't know. I think other value makes sense. At least that I know it's in other value. Or just commander value. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, besides army, defense, and economy, what else is there besides commanders? Unless, unless it counts planet war stuff, which it might, I don't know. Oh, whoa, never mind. I switched over to impalers. My bad. Thanks for pointing that out, game chat. That Impalers are being used as a defensive, which makes a lot more sense. Getting rid of all these defenses from afar. It makes a lot more sense than trying to just push in more skirmishers when they already have plenty of skirmishers on top of... Okay, they have defenses already. But they already... They have defensers. They need, have enough skirmishers. Push the artillery. Get something that can actually break this defensive line. That's all you really got. And then, once that's done, it should be into game two. I mean, we are almost at the end of this, but it is almost it is game one of the Losers Finals, so we have at least three more games before this tournament's over. And this one's taking a surprisingly long time to finish up, but there's the Impaler coming in. It's firing its shots off. Nailing a flea. Obviously not the main target, but yeah, get those stingers. Get, wow, that Impaler... Wow, Impalers have a massive range. I forgot how long the Impaler range was. That's actually quite impressive. All right, fair enough. I've got to remember to use those in the future. I never really think about them, but yeah, that's actually really good. You get two or three of them. You get rid of all the stingers. You get rid of everything else. It's good. And there it is. There's the game. North Chilean Gene Rara throwing the towel. Despite what was actually a reasonably strong start, 
largely because Gregory Buzzy Beetle when did not use their metal, but I mean the metal produced metal used, but even with that, it just came down to the commander. The commander wiped out the entire army and could have applied more pressure to the south, but didn't got a little bit of cold feet with the widow, and more importantly, didn't have the support forces to deal with another widow strike. And that was the problem. If the support forces had come in for reinforcement, I think RAR could have pushed the bottom, could have continued to provide pressure over to the south side of the map, and that would have done the trick. Like they could have gone here and just pushed and pushed and not let up and possibly won. But they didn't. So that's that. Now it's a question of what do we have for map two? Because map two is going to be up to North Chilean G and RAR again. Right, they picked this first map. But what they pick for the second map is obviously going to be quite important. As what are they going to pick for the second map? I don't know. Maybe they pick a map that doesn't get them in a bad spot. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I feel like they'd probably pick a map that is... Hmm, let me think. I'm thinking they're probably going to go for a middle-ish size map, I think, Altair Crossing. I understand the logic of Altair Crossing. They didn't really follow through on it. I'm not sure they're comfortable really pushing for this hyper-aggressive strategy. I mean... What other options do they have? This isn't exactly a map pool that supports a lot of small maps. Red Comet probably wouldn't work. It's probably get out eco immediately. Vitra probably wouldn't work. For the same reason. Bandit Plane certainly wouldn't work for that reason. Icy Shell might work. Otherwise, I don't really see any obvious options. So, with I mean, the options that we have, I mean, really, it's... The likely choices are Ravaged, Red Comet, Icy Shell, Ban Vitra, maybe. Bandit Plane's not so sure about. Everyone's debating about whether or not to go for Temple Redux. I've never actually seen that map in 0K. That is Lost Temple from StarCraft, but I don't know if it's... I don't expect it's going to be that great in 0k. Ah, oh, we're going for Vitra. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, reasonably good size. Not too big, not too small. Should work all right. I don't know what else is going to happen, but yeah. Vitra. Wider map. Pretty good for shields. Not okay. Not that great for spiders. Overall good for bots, really. I'm not really thinking it's going to be the best map, though, because it's still it's okay for economy, so I guess losing out on economy early isn't a big deal. You can kind of hold your half of the map and then work from there. So it's possible that I don't know, Juicy's going to be able to hold on. I just don't... I don't know. It doesn't feel like it would. At any rate, that was the pick. So clearly, Rar and North Strategy have some idea of what to do. And I mean, to be fair, this is a map where they can attack from multiple angles, kind of like Altair Crossing, which almost won them the game. Rar and North G could do the same commander push, but again, the problem is they're going for the commander push. Their opponents know they're going for the commander push. There's no mix up there. Their opponents can just go for phantoms and widows and never have to worry about anything. I mean, once I actually get this thing going. There we go. But that's... And the thing is, with this there, yeah... I don't know. Oh, radar is apparently part of other. Okay, thank you, stream chat, for pointing that out. So other value is commanders and radar. Good to know. I mean, it's like kind of makes sense as an other. Don't know where I would have thought that would have been otherwise. Defense, I guess. Sure, whatever makes sense. <clears throat> so yeah, Altair Crossing. The thing with this is that you have. 
like basically this choke point center. You have the top they can kind of defend. This is bot path but lonely. Vehicles won't do anything the way I'm seeing. Vehicles are out of meta right now, so it doesn't really matter. Then you have the center section, which is a bit harder to get into. I think bots can get in just fine. So bots, this is essentially a flat map. Vehicles won't really work, so I don't expect to see any. Spiders might, again, just for the Widow. But at the same time, it's not like spiders are great. There aren't a lot of cliffs to work with. So I don't expect to see a huge amount of variety here. I expect it will just largely be shield cloaky. Maybe spiders, probably not. Maybe gunships or air, but I seriously doubt it. We haven't seen really anyone go for gunships or air. And even though this map is fairly defensible and could support it, I don't expect that. I think we're going to be seeing, yeah, shield cloaky from GBC and... And SG are going to be probably going for Cloaky something. Not sure Cloaky what, but Cloaky something. Yeah, I'll come up with the shield bots. Hmm. Are we going Cloaky Spider here? Is that is that what we're doing here? North Chilean Rar, we got Cloaky. Got Cloaky for North Chilean G, and Rar is going for something. I don't know what. Rar is going for spiders. Okay, so indeed, we are going for Cloaky Spider. That is... Oops. Game start. I want to actually turn the volume up again. Cloaky, Cloaky Spider versus Cloaky Shield. Immediately, we're seeing more of an economic play from GBC or Gregory Buzzy Beetle. I think what it is is that Gregory Buzzy... Like, GBC is just genetic benefactor conspiracy, but they renamed the clan this name that I don't know how to pronounce. Chris Sorry, I... My Polish pronunciation is not great. I apologize. It's the one language I'd say that I have a really tough time with. Which probably comes to no surprise to any native Polish speakers. Anyway, the... GBC, or Gregory Buzzy Beetle is apparently that translates to. It's, I think it's the idea is that they just, you know, found another acronym that works out to GBC that means something else. In this case, apparently, Gregory Buzzy Beetle. But I don't know. For all I know, it's just gibberish. At any rate, size are not gibberish, and they are coming in here, and that is for North Chilean G to see what the heck's going on. I think, I mean, Scythe, you know... Okay, Scythe, Redback, what else are we going in here? This is an interesting setup. Scythe into Redback, no fleas. Scythe is entirely the scouting point. And very early expansion from GBC. Nothing really coming in from North Chilean G, but... Doesn't really matter all that much. Overdrive... Overdrive and Commander Income being the primary sources of income right now for... For North Chilean G and RAR. A little curious how that's going to work. Primarily, it looks like that we're going to be seeing a Recluse Redback rush on top of a Reaver rush. Or at least a Reaver push. Possibly just Reavers for defense, but no, it's going pretty far to the center. That's not a that's not a rush. That is a push. One Reaver for defense, another Reaver to at least push in the center, see what's going on. Scythe coming in here, dealing a bit of damage, but not able to actually get all that much value. Bit of a shame, that. Same time over to the south, we do have a Scythe managing to find some value. Not a huge amount of value, but some value. And... We are going to be able to work from there to have a... Ah, sorry about that. Going to be able to work from that scythe to another scythe over inside of the other base, and that's going to be a much more effective scythe. As long as it doesn't get too close to anything, it kills. But hey, got rid of two metal extractors and a lotus. Did its job. So I like that. Good work there. So yeah, with that, it's pretty well sorted. I mean, you got got the fact got a bunch of damage done onto GRR's production. GBC's already kind of got a bit of a map control advantage, though admittedly, North Chilean G is holding the center reasonably well. Trying to deal some damage, but not nearly enough. That Scythe did not really do much more than a few, few small points of damage. While at the same time, again, North Chilean G and Rar have basically got nothing. Got to rebuild this entire setup in the back. They are doing that, but there's, like, that's six metal per second they could have had. 
on the other hand, GBC is just turning all their metal into more metal, into more production, into more army, into more metal. And making it very difficult to actually do anything. The one thing going in North Shoreline G's favor is this really well-placed reaver. The fact that it's below the ridge means that it can't be dealt with by Ronin until the Ronin get too close. And that works. That, that makes sense. It's a great way of doing it. Same time, the reaver isn't really able to push that far, but at the very least, it does provide a bit of a threat in the center of the map. So I'll give them that. Still a really useful thing to have. It's just, I don't see what they're going to be able to do from here. All right, Gregory Buzzy Beetle continuing to capture the map. North G and RAR continuing to have a really tough time actually building up and expanding. And again, I feel like a lot of it is just RAR is not focused on that at all. Like, RAR has no workers other than their commander. The commander's in their main base. Not even being upgraded a lot. I mean, they had their Reckless Redback setup that didn't really amount to much now that I think about it. It's like, I didn't even see that happen. Yeah, pretty much just, just set up for defense, honestly. There's not really a whole lot that's gone from that. So it feels like RAR just doesn't really know what to do here. Like, they're trying, but there's not a whole lot they can really pull out that's going to be able to get them the win. Just, you know, delay loss, but not actually gain a victory. North Shoreline G, on the other hand, is pushing, but does feel like they're the only ones really with any map presence. Now, that being said, this is actually enough forces to threaten the commander. We should be seeing this... Dying Prince Commander jump in a second. But still, that's... That is a lot. That's a lot more than you might think, but that that's a considerable amount when you think about it. The amount of damage that could be dealt. And on the same time, though, Assault Force is coming in here, getting rid of all the Venoms that are being sent out by RAR, as Hokomoko really does not want to let anything through if they can avoid it. And I can't say I blame them. I mean, try not to let anything through. If you, if you can avoid it, don't let your opponents get the upper hand in any way. It's a good philosophy to have. However, I don't see that really making a difference. I mean, North LNG pushing, doing some damage. But not but only the only one on the team actually really getting economy. It's 10 middle per second difference with Gregory Buzzy Beetle does not lie. Not a great position to be in. So for now, GBC still with the defi definitive advantage. Like, absolutely decisive. And remember, if whoever wins this game moves on to the Grand Finals. Like, they go up against Endgame Boss, appropriately named. Whoever wins this goes against Endgame Boss. Whoever loses this gets third place. So, there, or rather, if Gregory Buzzy Beetle wins this, North Shalane G and RAR get third place. If North Shalane G and RAR win this, then we're moving on to Game 3. And there is a bit of threat here for North Shalane G and RAR actually getting somewhere. But, now, four Ronin and a couple Reavers, not the... Not the most worthless, like not useless, but not the biggest threat in the world. I mean, they're getting countered in, the Reavers are coming in, the Phantoms are coming in. Not managing to do all that much, but still coming in. All those sides, yeah, also available just in case. At the very least, North Chilean G is forced to retreat, and that is a bit of a shame. Ah, oh, losing a sling in the process. But the bigger story is that despite the terraforming, the Outlaws can just go through this and then push from there to the main base. And not a lot's going to stop them. I mean, the commander is here. And surprisingly, no racketeers have been built. I don't understand the logic in that one. But yeah, nothing's been really built up to deal with this stuff. It's just there. And again, North Slane G is the only one that's really advanced. Though they've done a pretty good job holding back Dying Friend. To be per perfectly honest, it actually has been going quite well for them. At the same time, though, it's a massive contain from, uh, from Hokomoko's side. And it's just obviously not going well because it's just this massive contain. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. Got a contain, pushing the contain. Gonna be able to deal some extra damage. I do kind of wish Racketeers were involved in the shield ball, but even without Racketeers, it's still fine. I mean, they're still gonna be able to hold on, do a lot of damage. It's just a matter of if North Shalane G loses their positioning, that's going to be it. Uh, even as it is, there's still a 15 metal per second advantage in favor of Gregory Buzzy Beetle, and they have the attrition advantage. It's just a matter of getting enough snipers. And I think that's going to happen. I think the snipers are just a matter of time again, on top of the, the shield ball, just being a matter of time before it comes in. Just has to be in a position where it can't really be stopped as it comes in. 
and then it can come in, and then nothing can stop it. So, yeah, one thug getting taken out, not a whole lot being done there. Overall, this is Gregory Buzzy Beetle just providing an extra, how much more contain? I mean, the buildup is clearly to try to get rid of the commander, or at least try to get rid of caretakers, get rid of other production units. I mean, if we see right now, there's no, there's some radar here, so there's some knowledge of how things could go. But there's not a huge amount. So this caretaker here isn't really known about. The Stinger being the main threat. But now that that's gone, we should be seeing the Scythe come in here. Do some scouting. See what's happening. Use that as a way of coming in. But, oh, on the same time, though, North Chilean G decided to go for a counterattack. Going for some raiding, trying to get in some glaives, deal with some of these metal extractors, and reduce the power of the expansions that have come out of Gregory Buzzy Beetle. But I don't know. This is, this is tough. This is pushing it. I could see this working to at least stall the game but that's this is at the same time as this giant force coming in here with the terraforming wall to help out but still giant force coming in however the faraday is doing an amazing job taking about two of them including one of the felons and that's where the faraday comes in like i said status damage is amazing against shields and we are seeing gradually in this tournament more and more measures used to deal with shields as shields and the faraday is definitely one of them but it may not be enough. Enough stingers are in play that it's honestly not sure if it's that's relevant. Like, there's no way that RAR can really push out. Gregory Buzzy Beetle is still winning on the attrition front. And Hokumoko is still pushing hard here on the western side of the map. Kind of just pushing in the center. Not a whole lot is threatening them. And also, forgot to mention, this dead commander. North Shilin G lost their commander. As a result, this entire western side is kind of... A matter of time. But at any rate, one last ditch attempt to deal with this, but the command Rar's commander is very heavily threatened. There should be a stray rocket or something that smacks into it sooner or later. And there it is. Commander goes down, takes out the rest of Rar's forces, and basically nothing but this Faraday is stopping anyone else from coming in from Gurgur Buzzy Beetles to finish the job. I think that is going to be game. I think it's gonna be match. We are gonna see a couple imps come in to maybe save the day. Try to save the day, but Rar does not see them as saving the day. Rar sees this as over. Calling the GG and going for third place. Not a bad imp shot, though. Oh, no, that was, that was a bad imp shot. My bad. That hit all of North Chilean G's forces. That was a bad imp shot, though. Yeah. So, that should be it as Gregory Buzzer Beetle pushes in to get that victory, get that win into the grand finals. To challenge the people who knocked him in the low, lower bracket in the first place, Endgame Boss, who locked a lot of people in the lower bracket, actually. Now that I think about it. And that is it. They take it. So 2 0 for them. We move on. So North Chilean G and RAR versus Gregory Buzzy Beetle. Sorry, that was Gregory Buzzy Beetle taking it. Now Endgame Boss versus Gregory Buzzy Beetle. And it's worth noting Endgame Boss took out the rest of the top. No, it's not the rest of the top four. Sorry, North Chilean G took out Lagostine, who got top four, got taken out by Gregory Buzzy Beetle. But Endgame Boss took out the other two. Took out Gregory Buzzy Beetle and North Chilean G and RAR. Both the teams in the lower bracket finals had a grudge against Gregory Buzzy Beetle. Sorry, against Endgame Boss. But only Gregory Buzzy Beetle is going to be able to get in on that. So that is going to be the grand finals. That'll be up in a couple of, couple of minutes. Maybe five. So stay tuned.